new will. Hey, who's in the do trip? And we're live. Welcome to Bet Records, where we talk about hot topics, ideas, and all the shit you really want to hear. B E T T O L Y. Bet Records is for everybody, and you know why. <laughs> Sing it with me. B E T T O L Y. I don't know what the O is or the Y. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. <laughs> and go team. <laughs> and we're live, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Right before that started, all of a sudden I got uh, <laughs> just came to you. Uh, Daddy daycare. You know that scene oh, yeah, where they're well, yeah, they're the broccoli and the carrot and doing the veggios. The, yeah, we work at the kids' company. Yeah. Yeah. That I got that like scene popped into my head, and I was like, "Dude, that'd be funny as shit." No, don't remember that. I've definitely seen it, but not for like Dude, ten years. Daddy daycare is a, classic, a classic, bro. A classic. Yeah, That's it is. it's so fucking. It is aged so well. Yeah, actually, I haven't been like you can you can watch it whenever. Yeah, have you seen it recently? Did you watch it recently? Um, like I don't know, like super recently, maybe a co- like a month and a half ago, two months oh, okay. ago, something I mean, like that. Pretty recently, yeah. Um, but dude, if every time I see that movie, I'm like, all right, let's. Let's, let's watch Daddy Daycare. Let's watch Daddy Daycare. Where do you watch it? Uh, it was on Netflix for a little bit, and then Probably. they take it yeah, out. It was on Netflix a while ago. Right? Hmm. Yeah. yeah it's it might still be. I have no idea. It's, it's got to be somewhere. It's definitely been at least 10 years since I've seen it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to like, re-up. Yeah. Yeah, you probably got to re-up. Get a re-up. To, well, Speaking of movies, picks. have you guys um, have you guys checked out the new Eternals movie? I have not. I heard it's I heard, reviews. Yeah, what? I heard it's interesting. It's the new Marvel um, universe that they're starting. So they wow. yeah. they basically all the Avengers characters they're like all gone. They're starting a new kind of Avengers type crew. Right. So they're gonna do like all individual movies. Like how you know like when Iron Man first came out, then they yep. did the Hulk, then yep. they did yeah. Thor, and then they brought them all together at the end. They're gonna kind of do the same thing with this Eternals group, yeah. and they're gonna make individual movies like Shang Chi. That's a really good yep. movie. He's I a part of that new universe. Hmm. Um, yeah, the Eternals are like these like cosmic beings from like the beginning of time and shit. And yeah. I think they like lost their memory or something. I think that's part of the plot. I don't know exactly what the details are. Yeah, I don't know. They're just fucking around while the Avengers is going on or something but like that. But it's not going to be related to the new Spider-Man, is it? Um, it probably will be in some They'll ways. probably tie it. Well, what it'll actually... probably be some tie into it. Yeah. What actually... What I found out is that the new Spider-Man, this is the last movie that Marvel is being given the rights to because Sony yes. owns Spider-Man. Yep. So um, this is the last movie... Where um, Marvel will be able to use Spider Man. Yeah, unless they go into more talks about having more movies. Correct. So, this one, well, what they're doing is they're they're using Spider Man, but they're bringing back the original actors of Doc Ock and the Green Goblin. Yep. Yep. Um, to essentially, they're going to tie in. I'm hoping, it hasn't been announced yet, but I'm hoping they bring back the original Tobey Maguire, too. Yeah, that would be dope. Um, and then they somehow tie it in and make it like his kid or something, like puts on the mask and he already has the DNA in his system or some shit. I don't know, um, yeah. And But because Sony is inevitably going to probably take it back, which a lot of people are pretty upset about because Sony Spider-Mans are fucking garbage compared to the Marvel yeah, Spider-Mans. Yeah. yeah. And especially because in the last um, Avengers movie, he got that like super spider suit or whatever that had like machine guns and shit. Yeah, the iron spider suit. Yeah, yeah dude, and it had like legs that came out with it, and I was like, mm. "Holy shit, that shit's badass!" Yeah, yeah super dope. Yeah, and now I, I'm hoping they'll go back to the talks. We'll see what happens. I think they will because like Sony. I mean, so Sony they don't make nearly as much money as uh, as Marvel. No. Does, you know? And they, and they don't even well, do that's, much of the work, so I'm pretty sure Marvel does most of the work. Yeah, Sony just gets the they cut. just get the royalties. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which <laughs> so, again, if you're really, if you're Sony. That. And the movie makes, you know, a couple hundred more in the box office. I mean, 5% of, you know, 300 million, that's a lot of fucking money, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... But they could bring it in-house, hire some bullshit people, and still get a third of that, but keep 100% of the profit at that time. Of course, not 100%, but... Yeah, there's a lot more goes into it. Definitely more than five or whatever the deal is. But still, to not have to do literally any work and just be like... Yeah, you can use Spider Man, sure. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and to get yeah, a yeah. shit ton of money for it, I mean, and they while they're doing that, Sony can focus on other movies. I don't know. I see it. Yeah. I I see it both ways. Yep. As a business standpoint, I see it both ways. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm excited. Though. I really want to watch that movie. I wish it was already out. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It should be should be pretty good. There's a lot of good movies coming up. I just 
I saw a bunch of previews over the weekend, and I was like, damn, these movies look like they're starting to crank yeah, out some good ass movies, dude. Theater business is starting to pick up again. Movies are gonna complain. Yeah. I'm sure they're just sitting on a shit ton of them, honestly. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they're making them really slow because they're yeah. like, well, we don't want to put this out on Netflix. We're not gonna make any money. Yeah, might as well just refine what we have and then dump it when theaters open back up. Yeah, right. I'm right sure before that, Christmas. Yeah, dude, this this holiday season is gonna be fucking crazy. I feel like. Like there's everybody's going out, everybody's partying, everybody's <sighs> jumping around, and you know everybody's <laughs> buying shit and going out, and going and, back to concerts and stuff, and going back to concerts and stuff like that. Um, I mean, speaking of that too, I mean, did you guys hear about the Travis Scott thing? You know, yeah. I did. Just about everywhere but CNN. Yeah, <laughs> I <can't>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think they had a thing too. But they probably did. But, <laughs> but had, I saw fifty thousand people were in attendance. At least eight dead. Plenty injured. Plenty. 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 A plethora. A plethora injured. Uh, I think eight people dead, ranging from 14 to 27 years old or something like that, which sounds about right for a concert. I I know a lot of younger people go to concerts. Um, But yeah, supposedly what happened was there's what they call like a crowd surge or a uh, a crowd crunch or something. Crowd crush. Crowd crowd crush, crush, I think is what they call the term. Is Essentially where the crowd, they start a mosh pit. And then the middle of the crowd pushes in towards the front of the stage to obviously get better seating. Yeah. And when you do that, the front people get smushed on the railing. Now, right. mm-hmm. another couple of reports that I read is that the company who is um, uh, hosting the event, they actually didn't take the proper precautions on it. So a lot of times, the, the stage to me, it looked flat. Like it, the crowd, it looked flat like... What you're supposed to do and what most places do is they actually round off the front of the stage so it kind of goes out like a bow towards the crowd so that if this crowd crunch thing happens, then people in the front can squeeze out the sides and still kind of make it out. And there's also supposed to be some kind of little gate or something in between at certain points. So again, they can escape. Um, But it doesn't seem like any of that happened if eight people fucking died, you know? Right. Right, and um, I mean, there's plenty of videos of people chaining to stop it. I mean, there was people in the crowd on top of golf carts and yeah. shit trying yeah. to blow the sirens. <laughs> um, and I think it took a couple times of him stopping the concert to finally realize that we probably need to put an end to this. Because um, I believe the first time he called someone out in the crowd, and then he pretty much played a song again a couple minutes yeah. after the fact, and then... Uh, then shit started to finally hit the fan. But. Well, I know there's one where the dude is like completely passed out and they're crowd surfing the guy to the front to try to get him help. And it's like, you're telling me you're up? Because he's, it's not like he's just standing on the stage. Like this dude's right. up on a 10 foot pedestal. On a pillar, yeah. And he's looking down yeah. on the crowd. You're telling me this dude doesn't notice the dead bodies like floating on the crowd? I mean, there's. The dude just being like, like on the clock, on the top of the crowd yeah. like you you see that yeah you're telling me from 10 feet in the air you don't see all the people getting trampled right i mean i get you might not be paying attention but like i don't know At some point, you, think you see you, you notice like oh what the fuck is that yeah right yeah, it's just, yeah it's just some, i mean because, unless like, he's just completely videos, oblivious yeah there's all these freaking videos of different artists where like they stop their shows you know i've seen like corn like the metal band yeah uh foo fighters like dave grohl from nirvana didn't you say uh twenty uh little pump little stopped pump his show? Stopped one of his shows. Which that's crazy because yeah, little pump, of all yeah, little people. pump, yeah. <laughs> like he's literally stopped the show. He waited for the EMTs. He's like, he's like, guys, like if you're on drugs, at least drink some water. All yeah. right? <laughs> like, I can't remember that. At least get yourself healthy or something. But yeah, it's just I mean, it's anybody who's ever been to one of these concerts knows that it's not like the most safe place in the world. Like I to mean, begin it's, with, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, there's shit going on. It's hot. There's not like when you're in the middle of the crowd, it's not like you're getting out to go do stuff. You're you're in the crowd, dude. Yeah. Right. Especially if you're at the front. Um, yeah, and it was an outside venue. It's just yep. GA from the looks of it. It didn't yep. look like there was balcony seatings or anything like that at yeah. all. It was all flat. Um, and the other side of things too. I mean, we could blame it on Travis. We could blame it on you know not enough staff looking through the crowd for these kind of people. At the same time, if you're Travis Scott though, you're a man of one. Yeah. On a stage, we saw how big and massive the stage was and how decked out it was and all these flashing lights and you got to hit all these cues and you got to make sure your auto tune is uh, pitched correctly before you start, you well, know. He doesn't do any of uh, that stuff, dude. No, he's no auto tune. all that stuff. No, he has yeah. auto tune, but he's yeah. got people for that. Right, right. I'm getting about the auto tune. Like, yeah. Oh, hold 
hold on. Let me uh, let me just adjust it a little bit. Uh, you need a la 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 la. Oh, a little bit more, a little nah. bit more. La 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 la. Yeah. No, no, that's what the sound checks for. They, but the rest of it, like all the flashing lights back and forth and stuff, you know, yeah, and he's, he's bouncing he's around. Part, he's he's a guy for that. He's got a little tight pad on his leg. <laughs> Do the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still flashing in his eyes. Though. Give me more lasers. There's still a lot of moving parts, but true. true. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. I know there's a bunch of lawsuits out there now, and yep. Yeah, and he we'll offered to pay for all the funerals, I believe, and a lot of the That's injury good. stuff um, from what we saw. But yeah, there's still lawsuits. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a developing story. It's a thing we'll see in the coming weeks. See what and if he gets shut down, didn't you say he got dropped by a bunch of? Uh... Uh, yeah, he got dropped by a bunch of concerts. Um, like day in Vegas, uh, they just announced that they're replacing Post Malone with him. Uh, yeah. so Post Malone's gonna take a spot in the in the um, in the concert. Okay. I think it was like day two of day in Vegas. So they yeah. were supposed to perform. Um, hmm. What else happened? Fortnite. They yeah, pulled Fortnite, his character and some special they features his, like, or something. Character and his, like, wow. Notes, so they can't yeah. buy them. You can still have them if you already bought them, but you can't buy them anymore. Wow. Anymore. Interesting. Yeah, so yeah, stuff is uh, happening in that realm. Cancel uh, culture. Well, sure. it's, this one's actually like a legit cancel. <laughs> Some of the cancels I, I haven't really agreed so with, but, yeah. Yeah, but sure this one I agree. Sure if McDonald's oh. had their meal, they probably would have pulled that. <laughs> <laughs> the Travis Scott meal that wasn't even that good, dude. Oh yeah, all still, these meals all are kind of whack, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I saw there was promo. yeah, I saw there was one like Popeyes one. It was like the Sawadee or the sweet, sweetie one, yeah. sweetie I think or that something. One's actually not the matter. The sauce is actually pretty good. Isn't yeah, it, it just, just like normal thing. sauce? No, they don't do like a. It's like a hot. It's like a sweet and sour, which is something I actually don't do at Popeyes. Sweet and sour. Yeah, it's like a yeah. I uh. Some cage the seasoning. It's pretty good, I heard. Huh. I, pro- I probably won't go to. Like, um, there was the they did. There was like the chili sauce and the um, the Cajun sauce they did at McDonald's when they did the PTS meal. Like, mm. I didn't think it was that good, but at least they did something different. You know? Different than what they usually do. They already have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now the Canes is open, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, to I need to get over there. I still got over there. You yeah. haven't gone to Canes yet, dude. Nah, I need to get over there. We'll stop on the way home. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. It's... What? How late are they open? Uh, it's like probably eleven. Well, the odds are <laughs> fair. We'll flip a quarter. We'll flip a the quarter. odds are in your. All right, all right. We'll flip a quarter. May the odds be ever in your cast. favor. No, let's flip it now. You want to flip it out? Yeah. Right, Is that want? a quarter? Well, I mean, well, it's like, it's a I will flip it. It's a bottle cap. <laughs> it's good enough. Well, do you have a quarter around here? What do I look like? A no, qu- that's fine. A all right, collector. All right, here we go. Heads, we go, and you're paying for it. Tails, we don't go. All right, wait. All right, how about this? <laughs> Counter <laughs> offer. Counter offer. Okay. All right. Heads. Heads. We go and we pay for both of our meals. Tails. We go. I'll pay for. Or, or I'll pay for both of our meals. Heads. I'll pay. We just pay for each other, like our own stuff. So you go oh, either way. So we're going either way now. Oh, that. Hmm. Trenton, what do you have to say to this offer? Any rebuttal? Let's flip a coin. You ready for it? I need to see a, sh- a handshake just so to wait, confirm. Was, was Here we go. You, you gotta be the. I need, a, I need a handshake. Here we go. All right. So heads. No. Heads? Gotta be heads? I think the top would be heads, yeah. yeah. Heads? Okay, what does heads represent? Uh, what heads doing? is we're separately paying. Okay, yep. Heads is separate. Tails is Q-tip pays. Okay. Yep. All right, let's you ready, see. kids? Two. Here we go. You want me to catch it and flip, or do you just uh, want me to let it land? What do you prefer? Let it land. Let it land. Yes! Oh! <laughs> pay separate. Is that pay separate? <laughs> yeah, pay that's pay separate. Oh, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm what? just kidding. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> You want two out of I could have kept. Two out of three. Well, speaking of two our three. lives. Oh, wait, two out of three? No, <laughs> what, 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 what I'm playing two out of three. Yeah. What do you think this is? <laughs> we literally shook. <laughs> hey, man, it's, all, it's worth a shot. <laughs> I was going to say, all right, speaking of our lives, uh, what did you guys do over Halloween while I was gone? Halloween weekend? Yeah, because I was gone. Uh, oh, yeah, you were gone. The cities. Get, yeah, you, yeah, he went to the gay 90s with uh, a couple <laughs> yeah. of his dude friends. Oh, yeah, um, that's what I did. Like gay Cole. The gay, gay Cole, Cole and. Gay Brad. Gay Brad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just kidding. That's bad. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, what did I do? We, Saturday, Saturday, we went downtown. We went yeah, to the party right. thing. Yeah. We went to Searles, and then we checked out Steel Wolf for a little bit. Yeah, how was uh, Steel Wolf three bar? Um, I thought it was decent. I went there if for a it's, little bit. If it's not a going out night, I think it'd be good. Yeah, but like Saturday so. night, dude, it was fucking packed. The yeah, thing, well, just open so up. and we went this last Saturday. T- wasn't it was, that the Saturday? Yeah, this last Saturday for Halloween was, was four good. times as packed as it was oh, when yeah. we went. Yeah, literally. Nice we Halloween was yeah. fucking packed. Yeah, dude. it was packed. Yeah, no. When we went this Saturday, it, it was, was like kind of like Searles. Yeah, not, maybe a little, a little bit busier than Searles, but like not too busy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah it it seemed it seemed okay. I don't know. I 
I don't know if I'd want to go there like every time, but no, I think it's definitely a good change it. of scenery. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice little place. I mean, it's right next to Polito's, you know. If you're, if you're like, oh, I might get some pizza before the bar closes, you might go at like 1.30 and get some drinks and get some pizza. Well, right someone there. said you can order it at the bar, too. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sure. Polito's? Yeah. Someone said that, they whether it's true or not or not. Over or some shit, yeah. Right. Who do you, who do Because it's one of the Polito's brothers owns it or something? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yep. I also read somewhere or somebody told me like they wanted to have like a literal window between the two yeah, places, so you but can like do there it. was some kind of legal thing like that technically they have to it's, register as a different business for right. some reason. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's two properties versus one technically yeah, at that point. It's like conjoined. Or whatever, yeah, it's kind of weird, but yeah. that makes sense, I guess. It's kind of a stupid deal. And thing. it's, what, two or three stories tall with other departments, I'm sure, above it? Yeah. Because most of that other shit is. Other kind of weird stuff. So then you're breaking down walls and I'm sure it's brick oh, yeah. and probably so I don't know. It's probably loud as shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably really expensive and I'm sure it's probably just not possible for downtown. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Plus, it's Historic just, like, building or something. Right. The door and just run through the other door. It's not that much. Yeah. 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 Not the end of the world. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, not too shabby. Pretty good night. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. How was the rave shit? The rave, it was good. It was a good time. Um, it was a very fun show. I, I really liked the, 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 the artists were really good. We actually yeah, got to go... At the gay 90s? At the Skyway Theater. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, we got to go in the very way back when it's supposed to be like the VIP area, but I guess uh, Brad knew his coworker who knew somebody in the back there and they were letting us in. Just kind of went up there for a bit. Hmm. Just like a balcony then, area? Or yeah, what? it's just like a balcony oh, okay. area that's like gated off and there's just one door that goes through like into the balcony area. Interesting. Pretty, cool. pretty lit? Yeah, pretty fun. I was pretty, pretty fucking sh- smashed up. Uh, I was actually, at one point, I was like, damn, I really want to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, like, in those shows, like, it really doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. yeah. If you go in the deep crowds, like, there's people, like, literally smoking, like, blood. Oh, yeah. Around yeah. And yeah. Shit. Yep. You know, I'm like, King, we're in the VIP area. Give me a cigarette, bro. I'm going to sit a smoke right here. <laughs> and, yeah. like, you couldn't even smell it, dude, because, like, there's so much yeah. shit going on in yeah. those yeah. shows. Yep. Yeah. It was kind of funny. That's Funny. pretty cool. How much were, like, booze and shit there? Oh, uh, drinks, stupid. decently expensive. I think it was, I, I, there were actually some drinks that weren't too bad. Some were only, like, six bucks, but, like, that's yeah, most, like, most of them, like, eight to ten. Yeah. yeah. That's to be expected, though, in a, yeah. in a I mean, private a venue. Of water is, like, five bucks, so. Yeah. Um, yeah that's kind of That's sweet. expected, though, too, but. <laughs> yeah. Usually they don't give that stuff out, and obviously they don't just give you a glass of water. You have to buy the bottle. Yeah, yeah, but then you, that, once you get the bottle, then you just, like, start refilling it in, like, the sink and shit. That's what a lot of people do. Sink water? I mean, you know, if you don't want to pay more money, it's I rave honestly, sink water. It's even better for you. <laughs> honestly, mm. I would. I'm, I'm betting about the tap water, so I would just buy another one. <laughs> yeah, I probably would too. I would uh, too. I did drink out of some of the bottle, water, water, the sink water though, so I'll be, I'll be honest. I can suffer through that shit. You can't either, but tap water. I, I mean, I can I do it, really, but I don't I know about rave tap up, water. I was pretty fucked up, so I didn't really care. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I really hate tap water in general, honestly. Me too. I don't like. I don't mind tap water, but like rave tap water, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah, got a bad yeah. ring to it, you know? Yeah. Like Pour in a little plastic water bottle. Oh, you're going to bring it out there, and it's going to fucking boil in the cup anyways, I'm sure. Oh, grody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty nuts. That's pretty gnarly. Pretty gross. Yeah, but what else have you been doing on your weekends, Josh? I heard you, uh, you bagged one. Uh, well, I didn't bag one, but my uh, buddy did. Oh, oh, that's what happened. I thought you yeah, did. Yeah, went hunting all this last weekend for opener up in northern Minnesota. Yeah, I didn't see shit the whole weekend, but he he dagged, uh, bagged yeah. a nice eight point. Dang. So. Well, I used to get a good little time. I mean, if we can't get uh, yeah. So you got a fake so. Facebook profile picture, don't you? <laughs> huh? Didn't you change your Facebook picture? Nope. Fuck, maybe that was something else. Nope. No, I'm tripping. No, but I still have like I still have my buck tag, and then I also still have my. Uh, nice. uh, I still have a couple bonus tags that I get to use. So we're we're gonna try to get a few more this year, just so we can we can kind of stock her up. And is it still gun season, or is it only bows? Right? Uh, one it's no. one more week in the areas that we go. Oh, okay. We have one more week, so this sat- Sunday is the last day. But if I went back up north, I could do one more weekend. But I I just don't know if I'm gonna do that. That's yeah, it's such it's such a hike up yeah, there. It's a hike. Um, where I can just drive 20 minutes here and I can go to a zone that'll let me do it yeah. this weekend. So, yeah. but even so, I bow hunt too, so it's not the end of the world if like I can't make it this weekend yeah. too. Yeah, you always got the bow to back you up. Yeah, sure. and that goes till end of December, so I got, sure. I got quite a quite a bit of time yeah, left. Two months, sure they want. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. Probably go out once, maybe twice a week now. Would you consider going to your dad's? Your, yeah. That's where we went. That is where we went. Okay, yep. okay, okay, okay. Nice. Yep. Yeah, up north there. It was pretty so cool. Okay. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I didn't know. 
Oh, yeah. shit. Maybe we'll have to do that again this summer. If not hunting, obviously. The camping, camping thing? Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. That was a goofy time. <laughs> yeah. He's thinking about getting a... Uh, more of like an enclosed camper now too, oh, yeah. we just have we just have a janky pop up one that we leave up there all year. Yeah. Yep. Um, but he he just doesn't like how every time he leaves he has to like decompress the camper oh, and like yeah. fold it all up so if it snows yeah. then it's like not getting effect. crushed. Yeah, yeah. So he wants one where it's just a kind of like a hard one so that when he leaves he doesn't have to do anything. He just yeah no, shuts the sense. locks the Lock door and leaves. Leave. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the wind taking the fucking ten parts or Correct, whatever. Correct, yeah. yeah. All that shit. But he's not sure what he wants to do yet. He hasn't, yeah. hasn't decided. All in due time. Mm-hmm. Speaking of due time, now is the time to hit the subscribe button and yeah. also oh my God. <laughs> get into Bitcoin. And the Bitcoin. Well, isn't ten right now already past the time? Well, well you should have heated should, our. In, you should have like, heated our our advice months ago. Yeah, from getting into we'll Bitcoin, dude. Now, We've been talking about this shit since... We've been it... talking about Bitcoin since we started, bro. I know. Go back to episode two. Go back to episode two. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Hey, but, like, you know, if you if you were a doubter, you know, and you don't think... You didn't think at the time, all right, it's very clear that the, and now that Bitcoin's going to go to 100K one day. So, you know, this is... What's it at right now? The time. Currently 67K. 67, yeah. yeah. I yep. think 70K is pretty imminent here within a week or two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're recording this on the 9th. Literally yesterday, brand new record, 68.4. Yeah, it feels, yep. like it's, it feels like new records are being set like every other day, honestly. Yep. Yep, yep. Ethereum's up, yep. Cardano's Ethereum up also crazy. Also great platform to invest in, too. Yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, there's crypto to the moon, baby. Crypto to the moon. Yes, sir. Zanga. Up 5% as well for the week. One to watch is Rivian getting launched tomorrow, oh, supposedly yeah. on some special platform or something or other. So so I tried to look for it on Robinhood, and I tried to scroll through and see, even online, if I can see where it's coming up. Um, it should be, what is it, ticker symbol RVIN, I believe. Correct, RVIN. Yeah. Um, it's I've coming seen... out at a 78 valuation, yeah. um, which should raise it. Because the sixty-two to four valuation that I was reading would put it at about a sixty-five billion dollar company. Mm-hmm. Um, so this should probably raise it up to about seventy with that extra extra five bucks or so. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a crazy valuation, especially if Ford. They're rumored to pick up Rivian as a partner mm-hmm. um, and make a vehicle with them. Um, so that will be an interesting pickup. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one I would definitely get in. I think Rivian's probably going to be the biggest competitor to Tesla. Yeah, sure. Um, I think Rivian's probably going to destroy the electric truck market, at least being contender with, um, Ford and GM. I don't, I don't even know where Ram is. They haven't even announced anything for yeah, electric know, vehicles yeah. yet. Um, hmm. so I, I don't know what their plan is, but I know Ford and GM are coming out with an electric truck in this next year. Sure. So um, that'll be a pretty tough race. It's kind of a race to whoever can build the first production electric truck, and then it's Jeez. all to the moon. But Rivian also has the Amazon contract. They have uh, Amazon actually has a twenty percent share of mm-hmm. Rivian, the company. I know there's a couple backers. Is it like Drake as well? As there's some pretty heavy some, ones, but Amazon yeah. they actually put in an order. Uh, I think a couple months ago. I think it was for like a hundred thousand um, Rivian their delivery trucks. That's what Amazon. Mm. All their new trucks, they're going to be yeah, all Rivian electric trucks. Yep. That makes sense. So that's why they're backing them, and that's why it's, Rivian's a really good company to get in if you can. Um, it's just a matter of what platform you have to go to to do this. Yeah. Supposedly, you said Weeble was one of them. Yep, I've seen it on Weeble and SoFi, spelled S-O-F-I. Yeah. The only two that I've seen so far. I haven't seen on, seen on Robinhood yet. They usually have, like, the... I don't know, it's that brand new, like, opening IPO things usually that you see on there. I yeah. haven't seen it on there either. Search the ticker symbol, nothing. So, so I don't know, definitely something to watch and see when it does pop up in there. It might pop up there uh, when you guys are listening today. Um, but definitely something to watch because Tesla has been going crazy as well. They went all the way up to 120, 12, I can't even talk, 1,237. And went down 13% this week. I'm thinking based on that news and also kind of correcting as correcting itself as well. Yeah, of um, they've been struggling around 700 for quite some time, but within the past month, 
Yeah, from the past month up 28% to today. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Also, in big news, uh, GE, General Electric, is now splitting their company into three separate entities. Oh, really? um, they are splitting into the um, health side of things, they're switching into the more electric side of things. And I believe the third one is, is like, uh, I, I think it's like aviation or something like that, or. Hmm. Uh, something something or other but they're splitting their company into three separate entities um so i don't know how it just got announced i don't know how that's going to affect their stock i don't know how what they're going to do if they're just going to split shares shares. or if they open new ipos to cover to cover i don't i don't really know because if you're already invested in ge you should be able to get something because you're Uh you're already a a holder of the company um I see here Robinhood went live. Yeah, thirty-eight dollars per share. Yeah, Robinhood. Uh, not they went too live. Good. Yeah, they're not doing too hot. They're down three yeah. percent. Well, but especially <coughs> there was a security breach just a couple days ago that they mm. announced. Yeah, they're attempting to reset the password, stuff like that. Yeah, so that's obviously not very good news at the at the time. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Well, I'm sure that did something to the stock. Looks like too. looks like Q tanked as well. Um, it's a health IPO. Um, they started out at about sixteen dollars per share. It looks like they're down to about ten on opening day. So, um, that's about a that's a thirty four percent drop right there. That's pretty bad. Um, Roblox. If you're still sleeping on Roblox, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're doing, Josh. Up thirty six percent this week. It was down at, they were struggling around 77, would get up to 80, it would crack down to about 75, kind of been going back and forth in there. They released earnings as of yesterday, the 8th of November, double their profits from the last quarter. So we are now up to, uh, it's looking almost up to 109 per share right now. I would say wait for correction. Yeah, honestly, yep. right, if you're driving out a portfolio, portfolio trying to add some different stuff to it, I think Roblox mm-hmm. would be a good one to add. Yep, definitely one to watch for that correction for sure. I don't know how much they'll be corrected. They've got a bunch of new stuff coming as well. I would say maybe 100. Maybe 100 would be reasonable. Maybe. I don't know if I have 110, though, but maybe maybe 100. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe somewhere in the middle, maybe 105. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely see what happens, and we'll keep following that for you. Um, I don't don't really have too many other ones. Just kind of keep an eye out. Everything went down as of yesterday. Um... So calls and stuff, right? yeah, yeah, so when you when you guys see this, um, check check your stuff. Um, if it keeps going down tomorrow or today, I guess now will, might be a good day to dump, jump in on some some stocks that you were otherwise waiting on. Because um, usually two days of pulling back usually equates to a third day of of some decent gains um, just to correct the correction. Yep. Um, so keep an eye out on that. If Bitcoin jumps to over seventy, I think the whole the whole everything is going to do well. Um, So just keep an eye out on that as well, especially if you're invested in crypto. Mm -hmm. Um, Once Bitcoin hits 70 and starts shooting, I think everything is going to go up. Um, What was the fucking penny one you just did? uh, I'm (laughs) in on a couple. I'm still in on AMP. I'm still at Shiba Inu. I'm in on that one. They're doing okay. Yeah, I I dumped a couple hundred bucks in there just to see what happens. Put seven dollars. I'm interested. I'm interested to see if like you know maybe some Dogecoin Tom Poolery happens. Yeah. 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 If some if any of those shoot up, you know I, I mean it's it's nuts. Yeah, definitely something to watch. Crypto typically does go down on Saturday, Sunday, so make sure you're checking that out this weekend. But let's talk about last weekend and uh, football. I mean, we saw. Our old Vikings buddy, AP, kill it in Tennessee, grab yeah, a touchdown as well. I don't know about ripping it up. Tennessee was way ahead anyways <laughs> yeah. for that game. What did you think about that game against the Rams? Uh, I don't know. It was interesting. I think the Rams just had kind of a bad week. Um, that was kind of a lackluster performance. There were a lot of lackluster performances this week. Yep. Um, I know Cincinnati didn't do very good. Yep. Um, Jacksonville I mean, beat Jacks, the Bills. Yeah, the Bills didn't do very good. I know Green Bay didn't do very good. Yep. Um, surprisingly enough, I think the Colts and the Cardinals probably had the two best days. Cardinals, obviously, but the Colts, they had yep. a really good day. Well, and Cardinals um, even they, won without Murray this week. Yeah, the yeah. Colts just destroyed 
them. It wasn't even close. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of a kind of a shit stomp. Um, Monday night game was pretty controversial, but that taunting penalty was just ridiculous. Yeah. So he just he literally just looked at their bench and then he like called a flag and I, I even watched it a couple yeah. times just to see and I was like that's that's horrid. Every everybody Stephen A. Smith everybody's been like yeah that was the worst call I've ever seen. Yeah, and they were playing it yeah over and over again last night on the game too. Yeah. Um and the both of the announcers and then the outsourced guy was kind of like oh yeah they should do it and agreed with it and whatever but basically how they kind of explained it which makes sense unfortunately. That is the rule this year. Um, as as dumb as it was, and as much as I still agree that it was not, you know, it wasn't taunting. I don't even know if he mouthed anything straight mm-hmm. up. You know, he took a couple of steps and then went back to his bench, right? Straight up. Yeah. But unfortunately, in this day and age, with this new rule, these refs have to look a little bit further at those situations and unfortunately make those bad calls just to make it more relevant to everyone in the NFL. Like, hey... This is, like, not tolerated anymore. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's the new rule that's escalated a lot more, and I think that is why the call was made, unfortunately. But that would have been, I believe it would have been fourth down and long, if not third and long, either way. Yeah, but they, uh, they just gave him a field goal, pretty yeah, much. Yep, yeah. Um, but uh, I believe Pittsburgh still won, didn't they? By a yeah, by a field goal, goal at the end, that's right, yeah. At the end. Yeah, <laughs> yep, at the play after. Mm-hmm. Justin Fields had a good... Good drive in them. Uh, are you looking to pick Justin Fields back up, no. Josh, or what? No? Absolutely not. No? No, no play no, in? Justin Fields, huh? No, I Fields sucks. Q2, uh, <laughs> who's the best uh, player for your fantasy for team, team this week? Yeah. Um, hopefully Fournette, since he's coming back this week. <laughs> yeah. He's has been a pretty big producer. <laughs> Sorry, Q2. I don't mean I don't mean to give you the shit stomp this week, but I'm probably gonna give you the shit stomp this right, week. You know, I gotta believe in the heart of the cards, right? I had a, I ain't no I'm heart of the I'm cards, bro. I had a rough like last six bro, games. I got the you know, I got the two be- nice <laughs> I got the two best running backs in the league. <laughs> Possibly the uh, Swift isn't really top top three, but uh, he's probably top ten. Yeah. But Swift Another. too. Najee Harris, Jonathan Taylor, bro. They average like twenty points a game. Yep. Yeah. I looked That's at nuts. projections for this week. Both of them are net 19. Jonathan Taylor, number one. I believe Harris is second, if not yeah. third. Yep. Way at, um, They're both McCaffrey averaging at 10. 19 points a game. Yeah, yep. well, hey, if Taylor does good, hopefully that means that Wentz will do good, which he has been doing pretty good lately. Uh, that's usually not how that works. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess, way, yeah. You, know. <laughs> you got Russell Wilson coming back um, for Seattle, so I got DK. Uh, hopefully puts oh, up a good nice, game. Man. Stafford playing San Francisco. Dude. I'll it's, have to toss the ball out. It's it's it's, it's all ogre, dude. It's, it's all ogre. ogre. It's well, hopefully not. We'll see. Yeah, hey, it says they got twenty nine percent, man. I'm hoping. Twenty nine percent what? A chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have seventy one percent chance I'm, of winning. I believe in the cards, man. I believe in the cards. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, yeah, we're there going for gold go. this season, baby. <laughs> Murphy's doing pretty nuts. Holy boy. 72. Yeah, he's just had bye weeks. Oh, is that really he, hasn't, he hasn't played me yet. Actually, I think he might have. But... <laughs> probably one of the first two weeks when he got oh. 80 points with me. Yeah, probably. Probably. Amen. I know I haven't had a, like very many bye. I haven't played Ricky yet. Oh, yeah. I can't mm-hmm. wait, dude. Free free game? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm in on it. I hope Ricky's listening. <laughs> he doesn't even have a phone, remember? He still doesn't have a phone? No. What does he do? How do you not have a phone in this day and age, dude? What do you do with yourself? I don't know. He hasn't even had cell service for two years. What? Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't had a cell phone. What does he do, years. dude? His Snapchat just gets deleted. What, what does he do? What him. does he do? Well, he uses Snapchat and Wi-Fi, basically. On what? <laughs> Honest. Well, he doesn't have a phone most of the time. He's only recently not had a phone lately. But I think he actually Like the just past got month, one. he hasn't. I think he just got one back. So what has he been doing? Does he work? Uh, Yeah, he does, actually. I think so. He works at, like, uh, fuck, I forget what he works at. It's like a... It's not a post office, but it's something like related to the post office. <laughs> this dude. Like UPS? Not UPS. Different. I don't know what a it is. A different post like, office than the I don't know post what, office? It, what it is. It's like it's not like a post office. Speedy? It's, 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 it's not speedy. My, no, I was going to say it might know, be. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, office, it's like some kind of office work with letters and shit. I don't know exactly how it works. So every, every job ever created? I mean, kind of, but not quite. <laughs> it's something weird. It's something weird. I'll tell you. An office job with letters. <laughs> he's a mailman. <laughs> he's not a mailman though. Oh, yeah, he's not. A mailman. I think Ricky could be a good mailman. Yeah, he might. 
Everybody needs a mailman. Male if you could drive person. A car. Yeah, I think so. Male person. Yes, person. Twenty twenty one. Yes. Mailman. Yeah, that's um, sexist. Did you guys see a new season of Big Mouth came oh, out on Netflix? No, I've heard a lot of people watching it though. I, heard I've, I never got really into Big Mouth. I don't really? know. I watched the first season and it was pretty Sorry. good. Um, but then after that, it just kind of got like. I don't know. It's kind of got kind of weird. It's, kinda, it's too weird. I think it's like it's like just a little bit cr- past South Park. It's like cringy, it's yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, South Park rides that line, and then Big Mouth kind of just goes over it. I like, fuck the line. <laughs> yeah. This Park one is ride. weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Like, like the first, I, I, the first season is better. I, I'm not a super big fan of it. It's fine. I wouldn't even compare it to South Park. South yeah. Park's way better. Um, <laughs> I'd just compare it to another adult animation film, I guess. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even say it's better than Family... I would say it's maybe comparable to Family Guy because it's that old now, but anyways, the first kind of season, you know, it was like, yeah, they had these jokes, but it was kind of more... Every episode was specific about all oh, this one's about fucking jerking off or this one's about, you know, fucking <laughs> yeah. whatever, you know? Yeah, no, this one, it's sure. like, it has its themes throughout them, but then all of a sudden it goes off on a little tangent and then it has oh, some weird, just... cheesy, dumb joke and then it like... Oh, Stops and then cuts back to the story again. Like they're running out of material. Kind of. It's it's that's just weird. Yeah, it's that's weird. Like, that's like later Family Guy. Yeah, it's a lot of like later. Family yeah, family. like they just kind of go off on a random they tangent do, and it's like kind of funny. Stupid bit or whatever for like five yeah. minutes, and then it goes back to like the actual main plot that nobody cared about anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's how I'd I'd describe the last season or the newest yeah, one. That's I should how say. Like a lot of later Family Guy episodes are. Too. That's kind of how every season that's thing lot, is. That's what happens to a lot of shows too, though. I mean, yeah. Do you think so? And I guess movies are, of course, are different than like writing a book per se. Mm-hmm. But like, do you think it's easier to write the first book or the second book in uh, in like relation to like length and stuff like that? Because I feel like a lot of the seasons that come out, there's like ten, fifteen episodes well, in the first ge- season and eight ge- in the second. Generally, generally, like you know, with, with most things, like most products, like. The second part will be better because yeah. it's it, more can, refined. Because if you already have something that's good, and then you can refine it, and then you have established precedent to make it better. Yeah. The problem is, is that if you have but content then you keep that's kind of trying to improve it, yeah. you can only improve it so much. Yeah. It, that's yeah. and that's the issue with you have content that's just really dry and really, really one sided, and that's why like South Park and Family Guy do so well is because if you think about it, what's Family Guy about? <laughs> what's it, what's it about? Like. Outside you. looking in, what is it, what is it about? Uh, a family like, dicking around with a dog, random and a shit, kid. random shit that this family does, right? Yep. yep. You can go on and on and on about that. Yeah. South Park. Yep. It's about this little town of South Park that they just have weird shit go on. And they deal with world's problems. Yeah, honestly. they deal with world's problems. Same shit. Yeah. Big Mouth is about puberty. Yeah. There's only so much so puberty so shit you can talk about. Yeah. That's fair. You know what I mean? Like after a while, it's just like, what do you just double yeah. down on shit you already talked about? Yeah. And right. Then, and then, you know, some pro- and then, yeah, like more focused properties, like say, like an Outer Banks or like you know um, uh, other shows like that. They, you know, they have a st- they have a storyline. Yeah. And that storyline will end eventually. You know, then there's no point to start stretching it out. You know what I mean? I mean, sometimes you can come up with another whole storyline yeah. and go on for it longer. It's like Dexter, like you know, mm-hmm. Dexter went you off, make shit went up. off yeah. the bridge, but now they're rebooting it because they have a good fresh idea and they can actually go somewhere again. Yep, and that's why. Well, that's why like Game of Thrones is so successful yep. too, is because they have, they did their pilot so well and they made it so there were so many different, like people groups yep. and all that to where if it did catch, which it did, then yep. um, if it did catch, they have all these little groups and crap they can talk about all these little stories it's super easy to introduce and branches off the tree yeah and there's it's super easy to introduce a new story like oh this little farming clan got big or whatever and then you know it's it's super easy to do that but it's again it's puberty it's kind of hard to keep what what are you you gonna make shit up five seasons is a lot yeah you know Five seasons for even uh, even like a small even a small show like um, I'm trying to think like uh, Supernatural Supernatural was originally mm. only supposed to be five seasons yeah. you know and then that's why it went off for a couple seasons it did research for back Supernatural had a mixed history like it had like three good seasons after that or three bad seasons after that like couple good couple bad like it was yeah. back, going back and forth for years and then it finally just ended uh, like last year yeah until mm. they until they get some good content or they get some refreshed stuff it's it's really yeah. just gonna keep spiraling off into these mm-hmm. these weird little tangent shows right yeah. and i was kind of thinking about that too because um well the apple show ted lasso about the soccer one and stuff mm, yep um i can't remember if it's 10 or 12 episodes in the first season but mm. was you know story from episode one to 
last episode, right? Made complete sense all the way through. Second season comes around, there's only eight episodes, and supposedly they only made six and showed it to Apple and turned it in and was like, here you go. And they're like, ah, nope, sorry, we need eight. And they're like, well, we already made the whole we story. What do you want us to do? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, well, sorry, you got to do two of them. Uh, make a holiday <laughs> special or something. Oh, okay. So um, after season f- or episode four, there's a random Christmas episode in there. Not tied into any storyline. It's soccer <laughs> season. There's shit. no snow during yeah. soccer season. Yeah, like so another good example I can think of that I just thought of. Um, it's like I don't know if you guys ever watched Lucifer, but yes. Lucifer, yeah. yeah, Lucifer. Like they do that was too. originally owned by um, ABC or something before mm. Netflix bought it, and they used to do twenty episode seasons, and there was so much shit to slog mm-hmm. through to, right. to actually see the main story, like the devil and all that shit. You know, because it was like a cop show basically, and then mm-hmm. there was like this little bit on the side. And then Netflix picks it up. They make ten like. 15 episode seasons where it's actually like condensed and focused and it's actually a lot better yeah hmm. yeah yeah that's true yeah it's Makes uh sense. it's definitely interesting and it definitely takes a fresh eye to keep a show going mm. like if you just use the same group on these like more focused shows it's it's tough i'm surprised the office went on as long as it did yeah the office yeah it did yeah it did get it did get a little tough at the end there especially when michael left but yeah they, they yes. were able to finish it pretty solidly yeah. yeah i'm surprised that it went on as long as it did because there's only yeah. so much shit you can talk about with office related you know? right yeah. yeah well and the office is just crazy in general because they almost got canceled after the first season yeah mm-hmm. because no one liked it yeah so then they redid sorry Everything. from scratch pretty much different camera angles colors changed michael scott's appearance yep. everything yep. And yeah, then similar, people caught on to it. Similar with Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec did yeah. a very good first season, Correct. too. But then it went on for a while. And did they base some, Parks and Rec off something else, too? I think it was off The Office. Well, Parks and Rec, it was, it was supposed to be off so a little bit sillier, which it kind of is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It was, it, was, it was basically off of that idea, yeah. So Parks and Rec. Well, and that's, that was the yeah. whole that was the whole bit, because The Office really really started a genre that wasn't yeah, previously no. there. Yeah, it was, right. really yeah, it was like a documentary, but like a, a mockumentary. Fa- a, a, a mockumentary. Yeah. 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 Yep. Because after that, you got parks and rec came out. You yeah. had, yeah. um, yeah. what was that other one? They, it was just like both of those. Um, yeah, fuck. I know there's, there's one about a fucking grocery store now. I think it's called like superstore. Superstore. Oh, yeah, yep. Uh, that's yeah. one of them. Um, there's a lot of different they, settings. There's a college one. I can't think of oh, it either. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Community? Community. Yes. Yep, like that, that was yep. based off of the office's yep, kind of, like kind of storyline. Yeah. Um, so it really, it's really an impressive show when you think about it. Oh, well, yeah. It was a great show. And it's the like, reason why the first awesome season power, yeah. failed in the U.S. because it was new. Well, the thing that, that, and they got it from the U.K. version. Yes. And yep, they copied yeah. it pretty much. To the T. Yeah. yeah because of the U.K. version. Well, yeah. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's I, what I've heard. Yeah, I think it's just UK humor is just very different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just really dry for you know, American humor. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it is definitely dry. Just like the weather outside. Just like the weather outside. Hey, you know, so what, Josh, you know why we still do type deal at TV time? Yeah, dude. I, this has got me fucked up. What do you mean? <laughs> Like, what is so it? when you wake up, it's not fucking dark out. Well, yeah, but, like, do we really need that anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I get off work. You get off work and it's pitch black out. Yeah, we but, need that? But I'd rather, not, <laughs> in the morning when I'm tired as shit, do I really want to be like, oh, I can't see shit. Oh. <laughs> I would rather. Uh, let's take it back. Oh, and this is only the start of it, too. You don't even realize that it's going to even go more full circle once the winter gets more full strength. It's going to... It's gonna be light later even than now. Really? I thought it would. I thought it like slowly will correct itself until summer. Well, kind of, but I think it's like the it days. just switched. So yeah. it's gonna get days are gonna get what, shorter. Yeah, because what yeah. is the what was it the winter equinox? What is that? Uh, I think it's, it's end in, of it's in this month, right? No, it's, it's like the end or the beginning of, of January. Or, 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 yeah, because because I think it's the days get shorter until then, right? And then after that point, then they get longer. Until, Correct. Uh, until it's back to normal, basically. Weird. Yeah, there's a day in the year that we only get, like, eight hours of sunlight or some shit like that. Like that yeah. Why couldn't we just do it, like, a month from now? <laughs> like, let's just, like, wait a while and do it. Because then the sun let's wouldn't wait for come the cycle. up. Because then the sun wouldn't come up till like, 10 a.m. <laughs> really? I feel like it was up this morning, though. That's because the clocks moved back. Yeah, I know. God, dude. It's all fucked. Everything's fucked. It happens every year. I don't know how you're not adjusted yet. Well, it just happened this year. That's why I'm not just. It happens yet. every year. I know, but it's still fucked. It's still fucked. I just they literally hate that it's dark on my drive home at 5 p.m. That shit sucks. 
You're like a you're like because it's like you're like a no typical daylight. Vikings fan. Yeah. You go into the year and you're like, oh, we're gonna be great, and then they suck, and you're like, oh, why do we suck? Yeah, and then they like, turn the lights off on you, literally. Yes. Yeah. I'm not oh, a fan why of do that. we suck? Oh, we've never sucked before. Oh, <laughs> nah, not a fan of daylight savings at all. Speaking of which, when do we uh, smash or pass? Uh, Mike Zimmer, Q-tip. Mike Zimmer. Uh, Vikings head coach, smash or pass. We're going to pass on Mike Fired. Zimmer. Fired. Fired? Okay, how about this? Rick Spielman, Vikings GM. Do you think it's his fault, or do we keep him as well? Or do we get rid of... Or wait, do we keep him or get rid of him as well? I don't really know how you guys... Who makes the Zimmer. offensive play calls? That's all I want to know. Not Zimmer. Mm, I know, that's what I was worried about. He's got it, though. Nope, he's defensive head coach. Fuck. He does not make offensive play calls. Yeah, just burn place to the ground and start over again. What do you think? Do you think they get yeah. they do a whole clean house? Offensive, defensive, and Rick Spielman? Maybe. Yeah, maybe, honestly. Fuck. I don't know. I would, uh, I mean... At this point, might as well try something radical. Okay, do you think Zimmer's gone at the end of the season if it continues the way it's continuing? Mm, yes, tough. because they're, they're, it definitely has, he definitely has to be gone. Okay. Because if he doesn't make the playoffs, he's gone. Now, follow-up question. If it keeps on going and they keep losing, do you think he gets cut before the season ends? No. Not worth it. You'll think they'll ride him out? Yep. Even if they lose the next five straight. <laughs> yep. I don't think it's worth it to just completely restart the Vikings, when it's already a last cause. The Vikings have the most fourth quarter losses in the NFL right now. Damn. They had, they that's blew. The, that's true. I saw a stat where they were up by 14 points Jesus. at halftime. They did not turn the ball over once on Sunday. Or Sunday. <laughs> they had a kickoff return for a touchdown. And they had two defensive turnovers, Dude. and they still lost. Damn. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this fourth quarter. Something's going on there, man. No, well, the thing, because we only lost by another field goal this week, didn't we? Uh, yes. I believe so. Yeah, 33-36, yeah. kind of like the Cardinals game, I'm pretty sure. Or something close to it, but... Somebody, somebody on the I, black magic. This yeah. is how I'm picturing it. You got a, you got a pirate ship, right? Yep. And uh, the, other, the other ship, you know, across the sea... Shoots the cannonball on the side, and you're slowly sinking, right? Just slow. That's yeah. the whole Viking ship, right? We're just sinking slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Why make the captain walk the plank when he might as well just sink with the ship until they build a new one? And that's how I look at it. I mean, the this the ship's half sunk at this point, if not seventy five percent in the water. Like but, there's no turning around. But if the captain says, "Hey, don't patch that hole with the <laughs> two pieces of boards we have in the, on the bottom of the ship." And you're just looking around like, uh, okay, you're going to go along with it, or are you just going to take the hammer and nails that are sitting right next to the hole with the two boards that are sitting right next to the hole, and are you just going to patch that hole quick and call it good and push them over? Yeah, I suppose I'd push them over. There you go. <laughs> I just don't think um, in more of a business sense versus a stuck on, in, on a on In a, a business ship. sense, yeah. you push them over. And it's Unfortunately. Franchise sense? Still push them over? Push them over. Uh, I don't know, bro. It's a business. It's not a franchise. It's, it's a fair. business. It's, it's, it's completely true. They got to sell tickets. And I've been thinking you're not about, selling tickets if, in this current climate. No. I've been thinking about like looking at the last home game of the season for the Vikings because if it continues, I don't know who we're playing or it doesn't matter. They're going to be like 10 bucks. Cause it's not going to matter anyways. Yeah, nobody's going to want to go to it. Yeah, not quite 10 bucks, but yeah, you know what I mean. Not 100 like they usually are and whatever, yeah. but, but I don't know. We got that. Uh, who, who do we? Uh, could you could you quit whispering what? in my ear? Thanks, you too. Yeah, you kind of blow it. You're trying. Why did you look at me like that? <laughs> I actually bought a jersey Sorry. that probably won't be here in time, but we'll see what happens. For what? For the game. What Where game? Go? Timberwolves. You guys hear the Timberwolves? Oh, game? That's this Thursday, that? isn't it? Next Thursday. Is it next Thursday or this next Thursday? Next Thursday. I don't even know. Next I thought Thursday. it was that. I thought it was last Thursday. Next Thursday. <laughs> you guys thought you missed it? No, when I first started, <laughs> when I first got them, I thought it was this Saturday, oh, and then I, or last Thursday, and I was like, somebody corrected me, and I was like, oh, oh fuck. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you get more tickets at work? Is that what happened? Yeah. No, it's well, nice. good thing you didn't think they're they already happened. Seat. Honestly, they're really good seats too. <laughs> oh, yeah. hell yeah. Like the the t the twins ones were there. They're okay. Oh. 
Um, oh, they're still fine. But these yeah, ones, these ones are pretty damn good, okay, dude. They're like eight rows up from yeah. the court. Oh shit, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Bad. I don't even know how they're doing this year yet. I have no. No, they're only. I don't really care. Yeah, they're under ten games in. It'll be lit that, though. But, I don't yeah. have anything Timberwolves. I'm just gonna wear something. Yep, I'm either wearing my <laughs> or nothing. Board jersey. Who knows? Or nothing. Or nothing. Yeah, Why don't so, you uh, so email us shirt. at uh, betrecords at gmail dot com um, if I should uh, wear something or nothing. Yeah, well, you have to just paint yourself in Timberwolves colors. That's what you should. Yeah. Do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. I'll make a. Uh, paint my wiener red so then it's like a little Christmas tree uh, or something. We just gotta get a poster oh board and put a target on it with a little hole in the middle. Oh no, what, mm. you, what you should do, what you should do is you should do like the Bet Records logo on your chest <laughs> and then get like on the bottom of your stomach like the words. That'd be funny. <laughs> and then like a little cowboy hat or something. <laughs> do you like the, you can do like the Instagram. Buy a cowboy. Do you like the Instagram like uh, tag? Like um, the, the QR code. The, the, the username. <laughs> oh the yeah, code, I'm, say, I'm saying a QR code. Oh my god. You make yeah. business cards, pass out QR codes. The Instagram handle, that's what I was trying to think of. And then yeah. I, on my butt, I can do bet records, oh and then God. there'll be the crack, and then gmail.com. So then when I, when I bend over and, you know, spread them, then it's <laughs> bet records at gmail.com. Jesus Christ. I'm, just, I'm thinking you do oh, bet records, and then you do better than with an arrow pointing to your crack. Oh. oh. Genius, Christ. dude. Genius. Oh, my God. If you need help with your marketing strategies, email us at betrecords at gmail.com. <laughs> we charge. We charge. Free 99. Don't Free 99 hold, plus shipping and handling. Yeah. Plus shipping and effort handling. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. I'm just playing with my mic. Speaking of handling, what are you doing over there? I'm handling my mic. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta handle Mike. Well, I guess we have to make this episode PG-13. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Seriously. I guess we can't talk about No Nut November, because Q-Tip's already <laughs> manhandling shit oh, over I here. I already lost on that. No, no, no. <laughs> Q-Tip's uh, turned 1201 AM on the 1st, and was like, oh, guess I lost this it year. Looks, <laughs> it looks like Q-Tip lost not, No Shave November, shaved too. November too. It looks no? like you shaved, like, yesterday. I shaved uh, literally a week ago. Literally on the 1st. Well, eight days ago. No, nine days ago. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You doing it too? Going strong, baby. He like, he like half shaved. He didn't fully I shaved. started at one. He started at zero. <laughs> That's true. But uh, we're going to have some before and after pictures. We got, uh, I believe it's at least eight, if not ten participants. So we'll uh, we'll have a have a gallery to post out there eventually here. We're uh, almost halfway through the stretch. Cool. Doing it. We're, we're, we're like a fourth of the way. We're yeah. a third of the way. A fourth, I'd say. No, there's 30 days in a month, and Wait, it's almost the tenth. True. It's four weeks, so it's technically you could say one fourth. Mm, but we're past a week. It's nine days, bro. Yeah, I don't think it works like that. Yeah, I don't think it works like that. Well, like one fourth and whatever you would say. Yeah. We literally have three weeks till from today, I mean. So I feel like that's one fourth. That technically one fourth and one day. One fourth and one day is what you would say. Technically, I've heard. All right, we're two fifths the way through. Jesus. Jesus. I like two fifths. <laughs> I'd like two fists too. There's the, no arguing. Arguing it. It's, it's it's been done. It's literally been done. Yeah. Is that the only thing that's done? <laughs> Are you done? I don't know. Are we? <laughs> I'm. I've been done. Been done. Hey man, Bat Records is back. AP is back. We're still better than crack. So make sure you leave us a follow on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that green heart. Make it green on Spotify as well. Make sure to hit our Instagram and uh, check out all the NFL news for this upcoming week. Newly lifted Facebook page. And our newly resurrected. Oh my lord, resurrected dude. We Facebook. need to do it. Uh, should we? Ba- I, I kind of want to bash Facebook. All right. So fuck this. Special special cut. So we, we get a we get a we get a notification from Facebook, right? I get it on my phone. You got? Did you get the same yeah, one? I, yeah. Well, I'm, I have all the emails same and all thing. that stuff. Too. Yeah, I knew you had the email, but I didn't even see. I don't even remember the email. I just saw a notification <laughs> on my phone. Click on it. it says your content has been removed for going against the guidelines. So I click on it. it. Gives me two options: to accept a strike on our account, or to email and put in a uh, an appeal to to the ban. <laughs> so I put in three appeals the first day. Basically told them, hey man. This is literally what happened. I sent them a screenshot. There's nothing on here. All it says is we went up, we broke something. Yeah. I don't know what. I mean, I so can create another page. What no idea. No idea. Yeah. Oh, didn't shit. tell us. Nope. Nope. I um sent That's them so another one a couple days ago and basically said, hey, like, 
you guys are still not giving us anything. This has been going on for a while now. You guys need to correct this. If it's on us, then let us know, but there's no context, yeah, no communication, serious. blah, 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 blah. I get an email during work, during lunch, and they basically said, nope, you went against the community guidelines. Please click this link and read about our guidelines. Sorry. About an hour later, after I go through a whole lunch break of creating a new page, putting the website on there, getting some pictures on there, they reinstate the account. So with all that done and said, fuck Facebook, but go check us out on there and leave us a like on our page. <laughs> Since we are back and out of Facebook jail, thanks for listening as always, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace I like how she move it. I like how she move it. I got that new whip. Go get a new trip. I like how she move it. I like how she move it.